I love Call of Duty. I love it. And you know what else I love? I love shotguns in Call of Duty. I always have. Since since the very first shotgun I picked up in World at War, I've loved it. Me and a couple of friends, before we were any good at this game, we would get into this private lobby and we would just literally just have a shotgun carnival. I don't know another way of putting it. A shotgun orgy where where we put on shotguns and we just had a private match between the four or five of us and we just shot the shit out of each other with shotguns. We thought it was hilarious. Look at that terrible miss there. We thought it was fun. And I've loved shotguns ever since. Now, I will say this. This is the first game that I've ever played with the Bulldog without a slug. I played a few games with a slug after I did that video, which I'll put a link in the description to if you happen to miss it. It had a, it's, I think to this day it's my most viewed video. But I love this shotgun. Is it overpowered? Is it underpowered? I don't know. Is it fun? You better believe your ass it is. This this gun is awesome. And and if you don't like it, I understand. If you do like it, I completely understand. But you know what? That's opinions. That's your personal choices. Now, what I'm going to get into next is where I feel that some people may get a little butt hurt. Now, I don't mean to make you butt hurt or make mean to make people angry. That's not my goal and what I'm about to do here. But these are my opinions. These are my feelings. So, in the last couple of weeks, I've looked at people saying this game is the greatest. This game is terrible. It's fun. It's boring. These things are overpowered. These things are underpowered. People get killed too fast. You die too fast. You kill too fast. It's it's crazy. But you know what? It's the same shit that happens every single Call of Duty. So, people are complaining. What are the... I would say the top three complaints. Top three complaints are uh, you die too fast... Number two, there's so many campers. And number three, uh, IEDs and equipment are fucking everywhere. All right, so let's address those and maybe a couple of others. So the first thing is this. I take all of my experiences in any Call of Duty that I've ever played, and I, and I put those experiences together in a, in a big ball. And I, and I look at that, and when I go into a new game, I take that, that ball of experience with me. And what I do is I go through and I, I pick out portions of my past experiences that correlate or relate to the current game and that's how I adjust to the new game uh, now some people may do it one way or another or some people may not even understand what I'm talking about but Call of Duty is Call of Duty the different versions and the different flavors of it have changed but there are always these similarities that you get as you go from one to another and and maybe there are some similarities in this game that were not in the last two releases but maybe in, in the a third one back or something so here's what I do I look at in the environment. I look at how the game plays. I am traditionally what I like to feel is somebody who is active. Who's I wouldn't say I'm a rusher. I'm, I'm pretty smart about what I do, but I'm, I'm always on the move. I mean, if I stop, it might be something to put on a ballistic vest or because I hear somebody coming. But I'm not one to just kind of sit in the corner and aim down sights at a corridor unless I've absolutely happened to have just stopped there and I know somebody's coming. That being said, I do the things to give me the best advantage I have because, let's face it, the way I have fun is by winning. It's it. I, I love playing with friends. I love playing with other people. But how I have fun is by winning. And, and how I win is by doing the things that give me an advantage. So let's look at what all the people are complaining about. Um, there are IEDs and equipment everywhere. I run SITREP. Why do I run SITREP? Because, well, there are IEDs and equipment everywhere. Well, let me ask you a question. Who the hell puts down IED behind them? Who puts down equipment behind them? Usually it's campers. If I know where the IEDs and the equipment are, I generally know where the camper is. Uh, I mean, I I could be wrong, but I've been pretty successful at this game on that theory, and it's worked fine for me since then. Two, people say Amplify is overpowered, that there's no, that, that there's no trump to it. Well, you know what? When Black Ops 2 first came out, people were bitching and whining because the footsteps were so low, even with awareness. And what did they say? They say they said that Dead Silence was overpowered. They said Dead Silence was overpowered and there was no trump to it. Fucking people, make up your mind. I mean, it's it's one or the other. If one company chooses to do one and the other company chooses to do the other, Treyarch or Infinity Ward, then you know what? It's the way the game was designed. If you think one is overpowered and one is underpowered... Um, there may be a patch or something that comes out, but there's got to be a reason for it. Now, here's another thing. People say that the game is is boring, that the maps are too big, that you get shot across the map because people just sit there and camp and they use thermals or the new target finders, whatever those things are called. 
I use incognito. Why do I use incognito? Because I don't want to be seen when I'm running around. If I'm running through the map or in one area versus another, if they're if they're concentrated on looking through that to see that shiny object, sometimes they're just going to miss you. I will use the crutches that my opponents and enemies have against them. I will use the perks and I will use the equipment or the, the tools that are given to me to combat those situations. And you know what? If I'm running sit rep and people have equipment and I know where they're at, then maybe they're a camper. If I can hear people coming because they choose not to run dead silence, then I can hear them coming. If they put dead silence on and I can't hear them as well as I can, I may become confused and I may get shot in the back or stabbed or something like that. These are, these are all the things that I think about when I play the game. So you may agree, you may disagree. Tell me what you think below. Again, this is my first game with the Bulldog and I think I go 26 and eight. It was tons of fun and uh, have a good night. Peace out.